Howdy. Um, see, this is a spur of the moment thing. I kind of am pissed off, so I'm like, I'm gonna make a video about uh, this Afghanistan issue and all this fear mongering to like send troops back to Afghanistan. Um, let's see, I'm gonna. I jumped the gun. I guess I didn't. I'm gonna add my attach my um headset so I can be more audible. Here we go. All right. So um, you know, I'm just hearing all this shit about Afghanistan, they pulled the troops out, the Taliban took over. It's almost as if nobody liked America, nobody is really willing to like put every, nobody's, it's really nobody's willing to die for like America's, or the US's, uh, you know, puppet uh, regime there. I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe it's not a puppet regime, but it's certainly, Nobody can deny that it was associated with the U.S. And nobody can be surprised if it incurred some of the hatred of the U.S. that people had from losing family members by, you know, from U.S. actions, which I think probably thousands of people or maybe millions of people in Afghanistan have. Um, so I'm... It seems like the, you know, the mainstream, the Democratic Party media is trying to, like, raise a fuss about this and tell people to, um, to you know, support more war. It's just insane how people can, how the Democratic Party is still able in some circles to pose as, like, left of center or whatever. You know, this is the party, the Democratic Party is the party that, created um israel basically you know fdr fdr um put you know the great hero of every democrat uh the the god of the the god of every quote-unquote leftist democrat like he's a quote-unquote as far as left as you can be for a democrat he put all the japanese people in internment camps in the u.s um, not German people, even though, well, whatever. Okay, I mean, I guess he could he claimed that because uh, Pearl Harbor. But even as the war got on, I think it was always targeted more at Japanese than German. Um. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like you, could, the the idea of doing that to anybody of saying like, we're gonna put you in a camp because you were born in this country. Um, is disgusting and I it may have even descended uh, you know extended to their descendants so this guy was a Nazi you know like he was doing the same thing Hitler was doing minus the any kind of um, minus executing them but you know he's putting them in concentration camps making them work for making them slaves basically um, because of their background because of where they were born and he was the founder of Zionism in the sense of like the American Zion or the U.S. Zionist Alliance. You know, he was the one who said, we're going to stand with. And he wasn't even as bad. Truman made it worse. Truman, his vice president, made it worse because at least FDR had a little. He, he when he actually talked to like an Arab, he talked to the king of this, uh, you know, the Saudi king. And he and that who told him like the Arabs will die before they will let their land be stolen. And guess who was right? FDR, your hero, the you know the democratic hero that everybody worships, or the Arab king who had common sense and could and had honesty to just state the obvious. You know, um, so that's like. The same thing is happening now, you know, it's the same scum, the same like Democrats who, like anybody who give, gives the Democrats a free pass is a fucking Nazi. I don't care. You're as bad as any anybody who gives the Republicans a free pass. 
all the same. You're all Nazis. I shouldn't say you, but I just, I want to be saying it. I mean, probably they're not like watching this, but I want to be saying it to them. We should say it to them. Like, fuck them. Fuck these people. You know, I'm over it, dude. Like, and, and, and the Democrat and the, um, the Democrats who show for this, every single one of them should be called out and, and fucking exposed and told off in any possible way. And all the Republicans and all the Trump supporters who we now see being like, oh, this is our moment to troll Biden. Like, first of all, a lot of the people who are posting this shit, like I noticed like some few people in like right wing groups that, you know, I'm in like left wing and right wing groups on uh, Facebook or at least like center right and and they're posting like um you know there's some people posting this shit like pro war even though they've been supposedly the anti war for all this time and like trashing Hillary for being pro war and they're saying no we're anti imperialist we're anti war but now like Trump supporters some of them are trying to like shit on Biden over this and i noticed that I don't think even the majority of Trump supporters, for whatever, how cucked they may be, they're not so cucked to, like, buy into that narrative so far. Like, I don't see a lot of, um, I mean, at least it's a mix. Like, I don't see an enthusiastic reception for that shit among them. Um, but clearly there's some of them who want an enthusiastic reception or keep going to keep, like, pushing this shit. And they're getting some support and it's disgusting you know like pick a lane be be pro war you know be pro fucking military industrial complex pro exxon trying to get pipelines through all these fucking countries for something that's not going to help you in any way probably the price of oil is not even going to go fucking down or be anti-war pick a fucking lane and stay in it or we're just going to treat you as as pro war that's it you know like it's been too long. It's been 10 years. It's like, or 10 years. But what am I saying? It's been like 20 years. People have been, you know, we've been in Afghanistan since like 2001 or 2000, probably 2001, 2002. Um, over it, you know, just like, let's at least make a, an anti-war party. Like, I'm glad to see Rep some Republicans have become anti-war. I don't know where the fuck they were. I honestly do not know where the fuck they were during the Bush years, but I've glad, I'm glad they exist now. Like, I mean, I know that probably Ron Paul was with us. The libertarians were with us. So whoever, whoever can be with us, let's do that. You know, like let's hate each other about other shit later, if at all. And let's like be anti-war for real and fucking you know, have a little bit of justice in this country and worldwide. Um, and yeah, I just, I find it disgusting, either one, whether it's the Trump supporters or the Democrats, or, you know, Republicans that support this shit, that support this narrative, like, it's up to us, you know, we have to die, American youth have to die uh, to make sure Afghanistan is a perfect country and yada yada. How about no? Like, you know, like, sure, fuck the Taliban. I'm not, like, pro-theocracy in any way. But the U.S. Can, created the Taliban, and the more the U.S. is there, they're going to fucking create more Talibans. Fuck them. You know, like, the U.S. government. I'm not talking about the U.S. as a, as a country. The U.S. as a country, any country and its government are totally, are totally different. You know, like, are virtually unrelated anyway um signing off over and out uh, solidarity comrades <laughs>